So I'm here with Paul Wilson from Arvio, and uh, they've got a pretty impressive bit of kit here, and Paul's going to run us through some of its features, and I'm very interested in what's in the bottom compartment. The next most important thing is down here. Uh, drum roll. Drum roll. <laughs> in the old days, we used to use lithium batteries. Yeah. That was a long time ago. <laughs> we also used to use gas to light our homes. Okay? And my parents used to have a horse. Now, we use supercapacitors. So lithium batteries, they use electrochemical energy. To, they use electrochemistry to store energy. They have about a 90% round trip efficiency, typically. Lead acid batteries, maybe 70%. A bit more, maybe, depending on the brand. Flow batteries, 60 65 to 75 percent. Cycle life, 2,000 to 4,000, maybe 10,000 if you treat them really nicely. Go across the supercapacitors here, 1 million cycles. Now, if Nefertiti had a, had one of these things, it would still be working today. One cycle per day is 2,700 years of use. Who was that? Nefertiti. Right. She was like um, Kutan Kaman's mum. Oh, it's early um, storage uh, adopter. Early e Egyptian, right? 99.1% yeah. round trip efficiency versus 90%. So there's almost no energy loss, which means there's no heat. 10 year warranty, and the warranty is unconditional. It's not based on cycles, it's not based on temperature, because we can work up to 85 degrees Celsius, and we can work down to negative 30. So, if it's 85 degrees or above, you're in real problems anyway. If it's below 30, you're in real problems anyway. Outside of that, it still works, it just has a little bit of reduction in power. So basically, it works on planet Earth? It works on Earth, yes. Yeah. Um, there's almost no limit to charging and discharging. This is a 7.1 kilowatt hour module. And it can charge in 30 minutes and just charge in 30 minutes to empty. Wow. Hang on, just, just hold that. This it's 100% usable. 7.1 7 kilowatt hours. Of usable energy. Yep, and you can discharge it in 30 minutes. So it's a 14... 0.2 kilowatt DC output and input. Wow. So if you put two of them in parallel, you've got 28 kilowatts of DC power available. This inverter can only make 18,000 watts of AC. So I'm just looking at these two units. You've got two different size this super the capacitors. This is the baby one. This is three and a half kilowatt hours. Yep. That weighs 75 kilos. Yep. So 3.55 kilowatt hours. This is 7.1 kilowatt hours. Yep. And inside the device are these. Oh, wow. It's a super capacitor. Now, what's clever about these is we can actually charge them in 30 seconds. So technically we could fill that in 30 seconds and empty it in 30 seconds, but it's too dangerous. So we restrict it to 30 minutes. Right. Yeah. Because imagine discharging 7,000 watts in 30 seconds, what would happen? You yeah, a lot of Like current. a very big flash. <laughs> okay, so these devices are full of graphene, which is a single layer sheet of carbon. So, it's a, it's, sorry, the graphene is... Gra graphene is a single layer sheet of carbon, so yep. of, of graphite. Yes. So basically, inside here is an enormous enormous number of square meters of surface area yes and the energy is stored on the carbon so it's compostable it's, it's compostable of, it's made so, of paper so, so end of life you feed it to your worms you can bury it so it's made of carbon and paper and it's wrapped in aluminium wow that's so a pretty can, good end of life scenario you can bury it you're right it's very safe it can't catch on fire unless you burn it it doesn't burn itself um, if you damage it, like by dropping it, yep. it won't catch on fire. Any explosive gases? No, nothing, because it's only paper and carbon. Right. It's, it's, it's magic. So, <laughs> in the old days, we used to use lithium and lead. <laughs> I like that. But we don't anymore. Okay? It's brand new in the country. It's only been here for about three days. So, you can't buy it just yet. You know, deliveries we're expecting in January. Um, and it's available in 48 volts. Future versions will be programmable voltage. Wow. So you log in and you tell it what it is. It's a 24 volt, 48 volt, or a 120 volt, we don't mind. Um, there's most, lots more stuff coming too from these guys, but technically speaking, you really cannot buy a lithium battery or lead battery ever again because the cost per kilowatt hour life is so low on this. To give you an example, over 10 years, if you divide the cost of this product, it's about 13 cents per kilowatt hour life. That's 10 years under warranty. The design life is 45 years. So over 20 years, the cost per kilowatt hour life is now six and a half cents. Right. Over 30 years, it's about four cents. Over 40 years, it's about three cents. So three cents per kilowatt hour life to store energy for 40 years is crazy. Is there any fade with time? There's no loss of power. So no power loss over time? One million cycles. So if you're cycling it a thousand times a day, maybe. <laughs> but that would be difficult to do. Um, so it's about a dollar per watt hour is the trade price. Wow. So a similar price to LG Cam and Tesla Powerwall. Okay. You could argue one's a bit cheaper, one's a bit more expensive. Yep. But when you compare it to a million cycles and the real cost per kilowatt hour life, you really can't consider these anymore. Right. This is the first version. The next release will be twice as dense. 
So that will be 14 kilowatt hours. Wow, same physical size, yep. twice the energy density. And after that, it will be three times as dense. Cool. It's already on the drawing board. Great. So the future is supercapacitor storage. It's not dangerous. You can put it under your bed within reason. It's not flammable. It's not toxic. It's recyclable. It's environmentally friendly. And it's affordable. Great. So why would you buy anything else? <laughs> That's the end of my presentation about supercapacitor storage. <laughs>